Hey, this is Alex Room, and this video is about EDM being easy as hell. I'm going to slap down a melody and slap down a fat bass line, and we're going to keep it simple today, but I'll show you how simple it can be. We're going to have two layers here and make the fattest melody in the world. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's waste no time and get right to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this up to 165 beat per minute. Then I'm going to get my pencil tool, draw on in a region, let's get this looped out and let's make a nice melody. Actually I feel like doing the bass line first. Melodies I think are made best when accenting or when kind of coexisting with an already made bass line. So what I'm going to do is give us a little bit of a re-space. You know what? I've been using, wow, that was like a really big plane that just flew over my house. I've been using a uh, serum to make these re-spaces and it's not been sounding good. So I'm going to use Silent One, get a nice re-space here. And basically what I'm going to do is give us a nice thing to kind of give us a base for our melody. And watch how easy this is. I don't even know what chord progression this is from, uh, but I just literally, as I wrote down that first note, I, I heard this crazy progression in my head and it sound the bass line sounds like this that's what I'm hearing that sounds a little too rock and rolly to me Here's the whole 8 bar progression. Let's join these up so we don't forget what's going on here. Pretty dope. So there's our Reese and now let's make a crazy pop in melody from scratch with some crazy preset going on here as well. I want to get two different octaves here. That was weird. As soon as I clicked it, it turned off. That's weird. Weird. Let's get this on here and let's get a strong MG low 24. I want to filter B because filter A or oscillator A should be all right where it's at. Yo, I, I actually been figuring out this new trick to get some crazy crazy sound on this preset these uh kind of trancy presets let's uh let's give it a little bit of a listen here let's keep it back here actually remove modulator lfo2 i want to uh, modulate this to the left remove all destinations and to modulate or to the right i'm sorry let's get it like that insane I love that sound so much let's go into here and give us a little bit of ping-pong delay obviously nothing that prominent let's get reverb after the delay I like how serum thinks I thought I was gonna have to switch up the order of that but reverb is always better after delay cut off the uh, we actually can't do it in there so I'm gonna use this EQ and cut off that cut off the bottom here just to give that baseline you know 
it's necessary room. I like to dip the mids too, so let's do that. This. Wow, this is so eager to get making some cool stuff. So when I'm trying to harmonize with a bass line, I like to show some of the highs more. So you can kind of hear what's going on. Nice. So what I'm going to do now is slap some layers on this EDM here and make it sound really, really cool for you guys. So let's get right to that. So yeah, this sounds cool and everything, but with still, it's got to sound better. You know, you can't just call it quits here. I actually don't want the, yeah, I don't want any of that. You can't just call it quits here. You have to build that little bit of a, you know. What do you call it? That that filter opening here. So let's go like this. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Totally forgot something here. Let's undo that. Undo that. Undo. Undo automation. Undo automation. We have to come into this channel EQ and filter this high part of this EQ because the filter is running a function right now within Serum and what we need to do is just disregard that filter. Pretty awesome. Let's add some nice reverb i'm going to use valhalla i'm actually i've been getting back into valhalla i noticed it it's really good with huge huge reverb uh it's just the sound it gives i don't know and of course we're gonna break into something big and loud right here so buckle in ladies and gents cause it's gonna get pretty painful yeah painful in a good way so let's go and grab our whole melody here come on come on come on here we go and so let's come get rid of that and I want it to blow up right here and be like so loud that it like your dream girl will hear it from here. No idea why that octave is so low. That's why it is so low because of this pitch bend. So we'll do that cool pitch bend trick later. No need to do it now. Let's grab this pitch bend. Oh, this pitch bend is all messed up. All right, let's get that back to zeroed out. Anytime that happens to you now, you know exactly what the cause was. All right, so to layer synths, I like to do this. I like to get some saw waves put up that unison more than your CPU can handle because remember making the best song in the world isn't about having good CPU in your computer it's about your ears and that has nothing to do with the computer so let's listen to this oh let's undo these random knobs the more you detune here obviously it's it just makes the sound huge and fat and here we have two octaves doing some crazy stuff
insane. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty insane. Let's add another layer here. Um, you know, just for good measure. Because if you have one layer, why not have two? This, I really want to be screaming, so I'm going to push it up there. Wow, that's that's pretty intensely high. All right, so that's so so loud. So that's not going to be the most loud layer going on here. Pretty cool, but still needs one more layer. And this layer is going to be handling that white noise that's screaming up here. Why do we need white noise up here? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just listen to songs all over the internet and they all have a layer of white noise and it is a prominent one. So let's get white noise with the same melody here. Um, even though white noise doesn't have any melodical features, it is just Simply something that sounds like that. Pretty dope. Now I'm going to work this upward until I hear it. Nice, and now what we can do is we can filter up this, this bass line here to start off really quiet. And if you don't believe me, well, watch me. I don't know what there's not to believe about this, but yeah, you hear me. Right here, we need to throw down some kicks, like a little kick fill with a snare, and just blast off some white noise in the background. You know what it is? So let's get right to that. I want some crazy stuff going on in the background. Uh, let's get... Um... I need, I know it makes a nice, nice background. Whoa. So this makes some kind of crazy background deal. This kind of super splice mainstream everybody has clap in, impact here. But if you actually just uh, kind of chop off the transient there. Whoops. We're having trouble gridding. Anytime the stuff ain't snapping to the grid snap to the grid yourself by going snap smart oops smart regions absolute value and your grid is one snappy grid and then we're gonna just play it all out like this now let me tell you a little something something about uh, when you blast off white noise in the background of your melodies it gets pretty pretty loud and insane so what we need to do is we need to spread this out as much as it could possibly be and another thing I'm hearing a little bit of a transient going on so I'm just gonna fade that out come on fade out fade away there nice and then what I'm gonna do is just slap a compressor on here to try to flatten it pretty cool and then what I'm going to do is throw some saturation to really drown out any inconsistent artifact pretty awesome isn't it so then what we want to do is we want to EQ white noise let me show you how to EQ white noise see this shoulder here you want to do something like that why because white noise has no business being down here. Your bass line and important elements have 
all the business in the world being down here. All white noise does is make your your ears hurt. That's what it's for. So we need to make it scream only in these upper frequencies here. And what I want to do is add some crazy reverb. Actually, I don't need that reverb. I can come in here and, oh, no, I can't use that reverb. That's right, because it's not EQ'd. Everything you're, we're doing is we're thinking about just where everything sits in the mix. That's all. Crazy stuff, and then we play this all together. Pretty nice. Could still use some more artifacts going on in the background, but this isn't the make everything perfect stage now, is it? No, this is the make a dope melody, show it to your friends, and then, then make it perfect. Let's go. Oh, I hate this kick. It's a, it's a dubstep kick, and here I am in a uh, happy hardcore song. This kick is, uh, I mean, you could use a dubstep kick in happy hardcore. Let's grab this, bring it down, on down here. And I'm going to compliment that kick with some kind of crazy symbol. Um, this one. This one's just so beefy. And anytime I have a symbol, I like to obviously add reverb to it. Kind of spreads it out like that. And see, hear that traveling in the background. Also, what we can do with a symbol, add some echo to it. This, you can clearly hear when we chopped it up, but that's okay for now. Let's go. So what I'm going to do here is actually something a little bit different than we have going on there right now. And you're going to be like pretty shocked at this. Actually, we're going to open this way up. Like that. And then what I'm going to do... EQ out the lows of what's going on there. Why? Because we need to put the sub bass in this area. So we have this this layer here doing its thing. Then what we're going to need to do is this. Watch, you guys are going to be so blown away at how amazing layering sub bass is. Let's come into menu here and clear. Anytime you open up a synthesizer, your first thing that you do should be initial, initiate, ini, initialize that preset, which means make a nice default setting so you can make your own sounds. You have to get used to making your own sounds. If you don't, you're going to be behind forever. All right, cool. So now we got a nice layer sound here. Pretty insane. Pretty insane, and I want to do one last thing that I think would just make everything that much more dope. 
Let's take a region and let's take another instance of what's going on here in Serum. I'm going to make what's called a drone, they call this. You're probably like, what the hell is this idiot making? Alright, ready? I'll show you what I'm making. Let's come here. And we have to drone this out. We have to make this the most spacey sound we've ever made in our lives. I'm going to make this actually in Serum because, you know, why not? That is the best way to make a drone. Right there. You can't just make an elongated sound and then throw a bunch of reverb on it and expect a drone that sounds airy and like has no substance but air. So what you need to do is you need to make a couple notes like that. Insane! Oh, this sounds so cool. I am so, you know, I'm just too happy right now. Alright guys, I think we've reached that point where I need to play this through. One last time, we need to appreciate the sexiness of EDM together and how easy it was. I mean, come on. That everything I just did here, what am I? 27 minutes. And I think it actually took a lot less than that because I was rambling about nothingness uh, for a lot of the time anyway. So here we go. 27 minutes. Let's hear what we came up with. Bang! And you can make the craziest thing in the world. In the world, you can make the craziest thing. I guess I'll leave this for you guys on Splice to download because I don't need it. I have a couple projects in the queue right now, so you can go ahead, check out the description for the link to this, and um, basically have a crazy time, you know, making some magic happen with this project. So, I'm Alex Rome. Go follow my new Instagram at Alex Rome Sound. And if you took any value from this video, of course, leave me a nice like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you later.